Today's video is about another exclusive rescue mission carried out by the officials of Department of Wildlife Conservation to save an elephant whose trunk has been stuck in a barrel in a landfill. This case was accidentally reported to the team of wildlife officers when they were engaging in another mission translocating an aggressive elephant. It was at night when they received the call, but regardless of their tiredness, the dedicated officers reported to the location as soon as they finished the translocation. The incident has happened near a landfill located bordering to the forest. Elephants and other animals are frequent visitors to this place to scavenge on the leftover food items hidden among the garbage. With the loss of natural habitats, dozens of wild elephants lumber out of the forest daily in the garbage dumps and landfills near the human settlements, which are poorly managed. There, they scavenge for food. Their hunger is so much that they think everything at these places is edible. There might be some food item inside this barrel. With the sense of food, the elephant might have poked his trunk into the barrel through the hole in the lid of the barrel. Then, unfortunately, his trunk has been stuck inside the barrel. The elephant must have struggled a lot to free his trunk that would have caused injuries in the trunk and constriction of the blood circulation. The officers had to take quick actions, otherwise his life would be in danger. After some inspection, the vets decided to sedate the elephant, as getting any closer for more inspection is risky otherwise. They prepared an anesthetic drug according to the body weight formula for elephants. The drug was loaded into the blowpipe of the tranquilizer gun and darted the elephant to soothe the pain and sedate the elephant. Then, they can easily give their fullest effort to save the elephant without any fear. Darkness has covered the area, the officers were in an exhausted condition after the previous operation, but they do this very happily without any hesitation. They are dedicated to serve the wild animals whenever they are in need. The officers worked hard to free the elephant regardless of all the obstacles. Even though the animal is sedated, it is difficult to predict its behavior, as it is in a lot of pain. Therefore, the officers decided to tie the elephant on its legs to a nearby tree using ropes. They were not prepared with appropriate tools and equipment because this case was reported accidentally. One officer tried to detach the trunk by dragging the barrel to the opposite side, but that didn't work. Then, one officer brought a metal cutting scissor and tried to cut the lid off the barrel, but that scissor wasn't sharp enough. These wildlife heroes never give up. One officer has found a from a village house, then hit the surface of the barrel with to cut the barrel lid and widen the hole to get more space to release the trunk. This is a very risky task. They have to be careful not to damage the trunk. The trunk is a vital organ for an elephant. It functions for grasping, breathing, feeding, smelling, drinking, and sensing purposes, etc. Therefore, an injury in the trunk or constriction of the blood supply of the trunk can be fatal if quick action isn't taken. The officers worked hard to free the elephant regardless of the darkness. Wildlife officers offer great support to save the lives of wild animals. They are in the field every day working with limited resources and facilities. They do their utmost to protect the wildlife and the people. Finally, after about an hour, they were able to cut the barrel using the then they widened the hole and pulled out the trunk. The elephant was relieved from unspeakable suffering and brought back to life by these brave officers. But unfortunately, the trunk has been injured during its effort to free the trunk by itself. The elephant is still in an unconscious state. <laughs> Let's go, 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 let's go
The veterinary surgeon inspected the injuries. There were scratches all over the trunk, caused due to abrasion with the sharp edges of the metal barrel. Those injuries were externally smeared with antiseptic spray. Otherwise, the condition of the elephant would be worsened if the wounds get infected. Long-acting antibiotics were injected to boost the immunity of the elephant to speed up the healing process. There was a severe wound in the bottom part of the trunk. They carefully cleaned the wound and applied negasont powder and other medicines on top of it. Then the wound was covered with a bandage. The elephant waited patiently like a docile patient until they do all of the treatments. His leg was released by loosening the rope. After all, they gave revival drug in the tail area of the elephant so it could regain its consciousness. The elephant slowly moved back to the forest. The officers hoped to visit again for a follow-up treatment for the injuries in the trunk. However, forest rangers will watch over this animal's improvement and report to the wildlife office in due course. We are grateful to the entire wildlife team who completed this mission successfully.